Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. Free pick coming up, and we're going to look at an NFL preseason game for our free pick on a nice little run here. Last couple of the nights winning in baseball, but turning to the gridiron uh, for Thursday, we'll get to that in a moment. First quick note, I've told you about this a couple of times in the last week or so. The Doc Sports Journal, man, don't miss out on this awesome handicapping tool for the upcoming football season. It's only 11 bucks. It's about 160 pages of great information on the upcoming football season. Of course, the schedule broken down by date, by week. I told you, man, I started buying this thing along with Street and Smith's way back in the 70s, late 70s, when I wasn't even 10 years old yet growing up in South Omaha. So I uh, recognized the football player with the medic outfit and all that kind of good stuff on it as soon as I arrived in Vegas at the age of 17, fresh out of high school. I had already been buying DocSports.com again since before I was even 10 years old. Here it is 40 plus years later. Later, and I'm working with DocSports.com. Absolute cool thing to have happen. This is like 48 years now that they published this annual journal, 160 pages of information. I've got them coming in the mail and I'm gonna run out on Thursday to a sports book and grab one because I gave mine away and I'm out and I wanna be able to show you guys an example of this uh, next time we do a video, hopefully on Friday's video. But anyway, what you're going to get is uh, all the scores from last year, all the what happened last year kind of information. Uh, so you'll be able to pick out some juicy revenge spots, not just revenge spots, overused term in the world of handicapping, but some juicy revenge spots. And then, of course, upcoming season, you're going to see some great trends and angles uh, that teams have in certain situations throughout the course of the season. So again, I'm going to run through this with you as soon as I get uh, my next Doc Sports Journal. I'll make sure not to give them all away. Thought I had one left, ended up giving them all away. Uh, but we'll get some more. Thursday, hopefully for Friday's video, and at the very late, uh, latest then by this weekend. But there's two ways you can get it, and it's only 11 bucks. You can Google Doc Sports Journal. It's going to pop up. You can click on it. You'll see all the information. Enter your information and be able to get this for only 11 bucks. Or uh, just jump over to the website, DocSports.com, the homepage, and check it out. Doc Sports Journal. And again, it's only 11 dollars for 160 pages of handicapping information. Great tool to carry around with you, uh, the Doc Sports Journal. All right, listen. As far as what's going on for us. A couple of wins here in a row now in baseball on the free pick report, including last night, including the day before. And also, we cashed yesterday in baseball. I told you a couple of days ago, after a 28-10 and 10 run, we had kind of a rough day on uh, Tuesday. And we came right back. We had a five-unit play in baseball on Wednesday, and it was an easy winner start to finish with the Washington Nationals. Uh, so right back in the win column, 28-13. and 13. Over the last 18 days, we picked up almost $6,500 for $100 per unit betters, 75% so far this preseason in the NFL. And again, we'll have our plays posted Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific in NFL preseason play. I expect to have at least two or three plays this week. Also, we might dive into one of the Saturday college football games. The real cool thing about not posting plays at docs until late Thursday afternoon is you do get some last minute information. And on one of the two games being played this Saturday in college football, I do want to check out one more piece of information that I'm looking for. And we'll let you know by Friday's video whether or not uh, we are going to jump in uh, with our money on the Saturday college football games. There's only two of them. One of them looks like a possible play. We'll let you know if we do that by Friday. Or you can head over to DocSports.com to my handicapping homepage. Go check it out after 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. You'll be able to grab my preseason football plays for the entire weekend. And again, we're having at least two, maybe three uh, this week in preseason play, dress rehearsal week. And then, of course, you'll also be able to see at that time on Thursday afternoon if we're going to jump into college football on Saturday night. Only two games we might choose to wait. Go check it out, DocSports.com on my handicapping homepage. But anyway, as we head into Thursday, we also want to talk about the WNBA. It's back. They took yesterday off the league. They are back. We have a four-unit play in the WNBA. 6-1 and one and 32-16-2 and two are our current runs in the WNBA. It's been a real nice summer handicapping the WNBA, and uh, we'll look to run those runs to 7-1 and one and 33, 16, and 2. Again, four unit play on Thursday. And most of all, seven unit play going in baseball. Now, going back about, oh, six weeks or so, we are on a 5-0 and run with our seven unit baseball plays. We don't have a ton of these. We don't even have one every week. But our seven unit plays in baseball, 5-0 and run, and 19-8 and with our last 27. 
It's going to be available on Thursday, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, seven-unit play, a side-in baseball for Thursday, and again, available after 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. We'll look to extend the seven-unit baseball runs uh, to 6-0 and and 20-8. and Don't miss out on that. Our last seven-unit play was last Friday. Uh, we cashed with San Francisco. They were a slight underdog. Let's rack it up and do it again on Thursday. Before the free pick for today in football, I wanted to mention a couple of games on Thursday that we're not going to be involved in. We were tempted by Baltimore, but I hate laying a bunch of points like that in preseason play. On the flip side, I don't want Philly. I mean, quarterback situation's a mess right now as Doug Peterson's career or time in Philly has moved on. We've seen he's cared less and less about winning preseason games. So we're going to pass that one, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew that they do have some quarterback issues. Obviously, that's why the line has gotten up to five and a half or so on Baltimore being the favorite probably see a lot of Lamar Jackson he still needs a ton of work I don't care what the NFL Network said last week calling him a future NFL MVP I don't think so uh, his best play again last week was a running play he's got to get that out of his head got to be a drop back passer he's going to get a lot of action uh, but anyway we're going to pass that Baltimore Philly game another game uh, that we're not going to get involved with is that Green Bay Oakland game in all likelihood you've got Aaron Rodgers starting but they're really you know, dog meat at quarterback after Aaron Rodgers. And if I'm Green Bay's coaching staff, offensive coordinator, new head coach, there's no way I want Aaron Rodgers out there too long. I mean, the Raiders are showing blitz schemes from different angles, as Kyler Murray found out last week. They ran three straight blitz plays at him, all from a different set. Uh, I don't want Aaron Rodgers, if I'm the coaching staff, messing around with that too much. So he'll get in, get his feet wet. Maybe he sees a quarter and a half or so. But when you get to the backups, listen, I know it's Glennon and Peterman, but at least Oakland has a little bit better as far as back backups are concerned in a preseason game than, than Green Bay. So leave that one also alone. But uh, for us, we will have at least two and possibly three plays for the weekend in NFL preseason, all available 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific today on Thursday. Let's get to our free pick. How about that for Thursday? And again, it is a preseason football play. It's the Panthers at New England where the Patriots are laying three and a half. Here's the thing. Ron Rivera says that Cam Newton and his starters are likely to get three or four uh, series. Not a whole lot. It's not small, but it's not a whole lot. It's nothing really significant. So Cam might be out there for three or four series with some of the starters or most of the starters. And then we'll see the backups after that. And for New England, we'll finally see Tom Brady for the first time in the preseason. He probably won't be out there a ton. Uh, but listen, man, this New England offense when the starters and the key second stringers are on the field I really think that New England may have their best offense that we've seen in years and that includes the retirement of Gronkowski in that statement so for me I think you're going to see a better backup situation at quarterback for New England I think their offense is going to click better I don't think Cam Newton and the starters are going to be out there for more than three or four series and because of this in the second half I think New England gets them so we're going to recommend a play on New England minus the points they are three and a half in a lot of books there's a couple out there uh, where they're three but again you can shop around but again three and a half is what we're going to grade this play new england minus three and a half your free play for thursday's preseason football and again don't forget seven unit baseball play on thursday we'll look to take those runs to six and oh and 20 and eight and don't forget nfl preseason two to three plays that will be posted 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on Thursday, and we'll jump in potentially with one college football play. Check that out over on the website on my Candy, Candy Campers homepage at DocSports.com. That's going to be it for us for Thursday. Again, the New England minus the points is our free play. We'll be right back here Friday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific with my next report and my next free play. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Thursday in the win column. We'll talk to you Friday morning.